In my paper, I show that sex workers have been excluded from the broader conversation on sex work and trafficking in the Philippines. And I provide some reasons for why this might be the case. The Philippine Sex Workers Collective, however, rejects the dominant portrayal of all sex workers as victims, and they propose a different way of thinking about agency in oppressive contexts. They think that sex work should be viewed in the context of alternatives available, such as factory work and domestic work, which are also precarious. Based on my interviews with the leaders of the collective and sex workers in Metro Manila, I identify and discuss the challenges faced by Filipino sex workers in organizing and lobbying for rights. For example, the collective cannot legally register as an organization because of the criminalization of sex work in the Philippines, which then affects their ability to access funding or recruit members. The stigma against sex workers in a predominantly Catholic country makes it difficult for them to come out to their friends and families or to disclose their identities in public or even to secure the official support of potential allies like other women's groups or LGBT rights groups. President Duterte's recent war on drugs has also been weaponized by some members of the police force to harass sex workers. Finally, I reflect on some strategies the collective might be able to adopt to maximize their limited space for representation, such as possible partnerships and other legal remedies that they can explore.